Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, welcome to the Shaky Cam edition of my thoughts about Warhammer 40k models. Today's focus is on the Tau Tetra. This is a Forge World resin model, and you can see some guys in the back for scale. So the Pathfinders are like the scouts of the Tau world, and I know these aren't Pathfinders, I just have them in as a stand-in for right now. So the Tetras are sold from Forge World. Uh, this is what they look like. And they come in packs of two models each. So here's one that's been assembled. It's pretty slick. I really, really, really love this model. It's armed with a what's called a high intensity marker light. It hits on a four up and if it hits, it gives three marker light counters. So quite a few and it also has two pulse rifles and that's important for later on. Now a Tetra costs right around 50 points and that's the approximately the same amount as six Tau Pathfinders. So these three guys shooting are going to get an, uh, give an average of three marker light hits and for the same points the Tetra is only going to get one and a half marker light hits on average and since they're sold in pairs and also in the game they come in pairs, although you can add a third or a fourth one to the unit, uh, you're going to get, so for a pair, you're going to get an average of three marker light hits. And uh, so, but, so why is the Tetra any good? First off, the model is really cool. And by the way, the stats for the Tetra are found in Imperial Armor Index Xenos. And, but the Tau Tetra, instead of having six wounds, like our six-man Pathfinder team, it has four wounds, but it has toughness five. And I do believe their armor is higher, too. Yeah, a Pathfinder only has five-up armor. And they have an 18-inch move. So, really, I think that the Tetra is a good option. It looks really cool. They have deep strike. Uh, now, Pathfinders have a slightly different role because they have Vanguard, which means you can actually move them uh, at the beginning of the game, which is uh, slightly different. So anyway, uh, that is the Tau Tetra. I love them. I'm adding two to my own personal Tau army, and you'll be able to see them performing in a battle report sometime soon. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your inspiration for the day.